Where are you? Do you think I would look up and pretend to not see? Do you think I would ignore to resort to my longing? Do you think I would make you from the material of my longing so as not to touch you? Do you think you are just a glitter in the eye and can float idly between earth and sky? But I know that boasting and its superfluous shape that wants to receive credits through my stupefied gaze, perhaps. Do you think I cannot be aware seeing all that, lost in the charming maze of these narratives? Do you think this decision of unseeing could be similar to a pinching? Would you be touched then to dare to condense? Would you become rain, teardrops, waves maybe, or rather travel to mountain tops, and then let the wind sculpt you to diify? It may melt hearts of the Midlanders some day. Or perhaps I could place you within Cartesian coordinates and integrate infinitesimally, or secure my wonder within lab conditions. Are you free then? With all of your appearances, I mean truly free. Am I, by my tireless wonder, breathing through equations, if only I would know it as the breath, but placing you in flasks of my making, have I not already defined your future at a distance? And you are already gone then, of course, between the flask and what is going to be. Up until I would perhaps recognize you as the sky behind all that movement, which, in truth, is dense. But shh about it for now. Maybe you are the allegorical shape of the softening the rigidity about galactic distance and velocity arts. Maybe already so you are, paying a visit just from what appears to me a future while writing this love letter to you, lost somewhere between waking and dream, would you call it melodrama or melodious? Both start with same type of sound. At least your shape is a melody in my ears now. But hey, are you maybe just a rhyme, appearing in a costume of a rhyme, or perhaps an unwritten poem, searching for its writer? Do you then anchor yourself in thin air like that and look down? Can you not even see that there are no other clouds here and will be too weird, peculiar, obvious, like a lone nude walking at a vast beach. But you just know yourself, full of that you are, I can see, and making an appearance like that, not at all at a hall of fame, no, not at all at any place whatsoever. You are that I see you from heart to heart, anchored through the seeing of the heart. Ah, maybe just a beat and a sigh, a palpitation is your motor to appear, be acknowledged and boast and float. Hmm, something like that, a fullness given to you by superimposing you through the volatility of the spaces of the body, a way of reading through sensing, like a game, 
but your fullness is benign, more like a fable character. Or maybe you are a cloud who escaped from the pages of a tale book, slowly transforming the call of a where are you to who are you, and then again, who am I? How else could I even ever so openly dare to speculate with no proof whatsoever to recognize you so obviously as if I would be looking into the mirror that you indeed are that notorious cloud that escaped from a tale book? Of love. With love. Thank you for listening.